And we are back, and one long day will come down to this, the final round of Swiss for our mid-season showdown players. And it will come down to a match played at the very top table between Chaiwa, Chao... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Chao Wicha from Thailand, playing his very first event of the of two years, in fact. He, he didn't play the whole of 2017 season. We only saw Jira and Jira and Jira and Jira again. But this time we do see Chai come down for his first event of the season. First event of two, uh, it's been like two seasons. A very commanding position he's in now. Undefeated yeah. uh, so far as of now. And we'll play off against uh, Waiing, who is also a very familiar face to players. And who took almost as long as a of a hiatus as Chaiwa did. Well, Longer was, even. Since good. Chai played in 16, but Waiing wasn't in 16. Well, it's good to see both players, uh, despite having such a long breaks, come back and be able to finish in such a position. The thing about is that on any given day, if you just hop on showdown, there's a good chance you'll fight him. That's how much he plays. Well, at least he has ma managed to grace us with his uh, physical presence here at the tournament. So, uh, should probably count our lucky stars. Uh, yeah, but as mentioned, this will be the last round. And I think both players, no matter of the outcome, will be moving on to top card. That's debatable, since if I loses, then she has a good chance to to resistance. Mm. Because Chaiwa will be 6-0 and, and boosting her resistance, but it's still going to come down to resistance and uh, other players she play. Mm. Okay, so on yeah, Wang's side... Singapore, think about Singapore tournaments is that resistance often comes down to how many of the top seniors you play against. <laughs> okay, Wang's side of the field, we have uh, Salazzo, Crocodile, Whimsicott, Clefairy, Espion, and Eevee. And Chai is a... Uh, 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 actually, it look, look, looks very much like a Eugene team. It's going to be the Gachom, Celestila, Togedemaru, Snorlax, Akinine, and Tapu Fini. Hmm, well, right off the bat, I believe Wang is running an Eevee team. If I am not mistaken, <laughs> what do I give that away? <laughs> oh, I'm not the at the bottom. Yeah, but Espion is a strange addition, I would say, as well as the Salazzo. Because most players would typically put um, Incineroar on the Salazzo slot. It's a fake out. The fake out slot is fle flexible. Mm. The thing about Incineroar is that it offers, it offers a more lasting solution to things like Raw because it has Chop Chop, mm. which denies Raw and denies Perish Song, importantly. Whereas Salazzo has to taunt, and taunt can get stopped by Mental Herb. Whereas Chop Chop is going to stop it even through Mental Herb. Mm. Or a ton of, of their own, even. Uh, yeah, but Salazzo is faster and does have, the, does have two very effective uh, a type, type offensive typing to threaten things like Katana and Tapu Koko with. Yeah, I think although in this solution, in this situation, uh, I think the fire typing will be more relevant against uh, perhaps the Celestila and the uh, Toke Demaro. Although the poison think, could be useful against Fini. Yeah, as you pointed out, Espeon is, is an interesting addition because players typically put a Tapu in their slot. Mm. But the difference that Espeon can be better passed to, to block the raw because Magic Bounce does Indeed, and, like raw. And, and you block uh, and other nasty statuses as well, such as stuff like Toxic, even. Well, we will be going into game, I believe, as the music is um, telling us. Sounds like an EV lead. <laughs> well, 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 give that away. I mean, typically EV players do want to lead with EV to get the evil boost off, right? I don't sometimes, in the very rest of the video, sometimes you want to stack something and get tail in up with the Zigot. Hmm. But it's going to be autopilot for Wayne with the Teferi and EV. Against Coming up against Arcanine and Gacha from Chai Wan. So, straight off the bat, Wayne has to watch out for a potential roar from the Arcanine. Hmm, indeed. I... Well, at this point, I think Teferi's uh, use as a follow me is also... Um, not necessarily, because if Gashon Earthquakes, that's a Akenai next to it. With the oh, Tectonic Ridge. Yeah, Wait. you're right, you're right. So Tectonic Ridge typically doesn't KO Kaferi. Uh, Chai is going to switch Gashon out. So we're going to give Wang a free turn, and Fini going to come in. Mm -hmm. well, not something that presents much of an offensive threat immediately though. Yeah, if we, you, I want to see what the Akenai goes for. If it actually goes for an attack, then we'll know it does not have the... Oh, switch draws! Celestina? Don't get it, Maru. So, oh, Chai is trying to force a turn to fake out, but then Wang can just... Double protect. Mm -hmm. I do see the follow me here. But I suppose that does give Chai a free turn to come mine with to try yeah. and match the boost. And we do see the evil boost here. So uh, hello down guys. Uh, Justin, where you put that popcorn of yours? It's gonna <laughs> be a while. <laughs> and I'm disappointed that Wine is not actually doing the pose. You know, I think more hardcore uh, EV no, team no, users. No, Justin, no. <laughs> more hardcore e EV users would like. Don't you know, make me stick Nicholas on on you. <laughs> we'll actually do the pose, but Wine very calm and composed there as the animation plays out. Very bored as heck. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but um, the interesting point is that, of course, Crocodile is a very uh, common baton, uh, uh, recipient of the evil boost, yeah, especially it, with it the power trip. Especially if it comes in with Intimidate to help, it, help itself stay alive. Mm, indeed. Um, and the Espeon as well for more defensive. I think typically other EV teams would run Tapu Lele in the place of uh, Espeon because Actually, of the psychic terrain. they tend to prefer Fini because uh. the reason why you run a Tapu is you want to, you want to deny your opponent their offensive terrain. 
Mm. And Lele doesn't really do that because Psychic from the opposing Psychic is still gonna hurt on the, on the way in. Okay. And Whereas if you have Fini, you do deny opposing Electric and Psychic terrain. Indeed. And, and as you protect. called it, a double protect to stop the fake out here. But it does, good, does give Chai a turn to come in, I think. Or unless he has haste. Oh, no. he does have haste. So the evil boost wasted here. So how does Wang recover from this? I don't think she can, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Yeah, without pre-preparation in terms of the mons you bring, it's very hard to, to stop the uh, Haze Fini from getting his own Haze off. So mm. it looks like Haze Fini is very much a Thai thing. Oh, Wang actually considering forfeiting here. Um, I'm not sure though. I mean, does Wang still have a chance even without the evil boost? Not unlikely, especially if she brought two uh, setup mon uh, instead of, if, Especially if she did bring Stelazzo. If she brought Stelazzo, she still has a chance. But yeah, because she didn't lead Stelazzo, she didn't really have to handle the the once he came into indeed, the indeed. So I think this is, uh, as you mentioned, one of the rare situations where you don't lead with Eevee. No, I think you still lead with Eevee, but if, if you lead Stelazzo, you still have a chance. The problem is that Chai adjusted because he brought... The problem is that you can't really stop the double, the, 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 the switch in with... on double The double switch in with Togedemaru and Fini. Because immediately she, he, you, you give your opponent the fake out and the haze on the same turn, which is why I think Chai played it very well. Mm. He ensured that he was able to fake out and haze to deny any way of stopping the haze from going off. So the only way to really stop that is a ghost type Pokemon with haze, with Torn, really. Hmm. I guess at this point, does the Whimsy call it? Are there any special tricks that Wine can pull off here? She will have to de she will have to delay the evil boost if she predicts the same thing happening again. Mm. If Chai pulling the double switch, because if, if Chai double switches and she doesn't evil boost, then he then he's stuck in he's kind of stuck because he needs to fake out and the haze to come out on the same turn to get his. To why get why not? Why why don't why doesn't just uh, Chai does just leads with the Toge and Fini right off the bat? Because if Salazzo comes in, then he's stuck. The Salazzo outspeeds with his own fake out and can taunt the Fini mm. and threatens damage immediately as well. In fact, I expect Wayne to leave Celeza. The problem is Celeza doesn't do well against the Gachom and Arcanine that Chai land with. Which is the problem Wayne finds himself in. Chai with a very good grasp on how to play the matchup. And a, a, a medium between the two, Tapu Fini and Arcanine here on the side of Chai. As uh, Wayne still goes for the same lead here, Clefairy and Eevee. So, I mean, the opportunity to take out the Fini has presented itself, but Wayne not really in the position to capitalize. Yeah, the Celeste Cel 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 would have done a lot more. Even the Whimsical Elite to set up Tailwind and prepare the way for EV to come in later. Indeed, and uh, I think this is just a situation free for Chai to land some damage onto Wine's team here. I think EV is probably going to withdraw and Chai can just punish whatever comes in, even with the friend guard. So yeah, Wh Wine is has very little options by leading the EV and Ferry into the into, uh, into right into the double Fini. I think she was hoping to see the same list as before and try and predict the double switching again this time. Mm, brings this in the time, whimsy card, alright. Not bringing Celezo though. Mm. I wonder. The fairy looking to take one for the team and draw all of the all of the attacks land coming. Is now? Mm. So That's I also one way to deal with Vivi. Yeah, the, the boost is just static. You can't really boost further. Not like the, say, the Kitri's Tail Glow. So we're going to be Muddy Water as well. Yep. Gonna double connect on Wine Sun. Yeah, so Wang already not looking too good. Decent though. Hmm. Decent. The problem now is that she needs to get EV in again. And both accuracy drops. So really so unfortunate. Thorn might not even yeah, land might on the Fini. The this time. Hmm. Yeah, you have to wonder what might have been if she had let either of the Thorn Pokemon next to the ED immediately. I guess you could stop the Fini. Okay, Thorn does, does land. land. But EV's not on the field. She didn't switch in EV this turn, I think. Oof. Well, Flare Blitz onto the side of Whimsicott. Well, that's one way to switch in your EV. Switch in for free. Yeah, Chai giving it to her, actually. And Whimsy and, and Clefairy probably going to go for an attack at this point, perhaps? Clefairy attack? Uh, Moonblast. Encore, maybe. Encore the Muddy Water? The Flare Blitz? That's another way to stop it. Wow, that's another accuracy. Oh, Heal Pulse. Um, well, I think Y will still take the free switch. No, she's not, looks like she's not, she's not running the Encore, it's going to be the Heal Pulse. Mm. So, follow me, protect. <laughs> Heal Pulse. Moonblast. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Eevee... After you. Uh, okay, Eevee is at a uh, prime position to set up and switch out. But I think by the time that happens, Fini's taunt would have worn off. So, Wine really going to have to... No, 
on the turn, Ibaden passes his turn on Wes off. So she will, she will get the pass off. Mm. Yeah, oh. Chai recognizes that. He's going to go for the switch out. So resetting the taunt on the Fini. But it's not going to be coming in time before the Eevee can Baton pass. And Clefairy actually switches out as well. Brings it as on. Come on, Alan. You didn't even capitalize the map. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Espeon Matt here takes a special attack drop, as does the EV. <coughs> and Wine does go for the boost. But at this point, Chai can just go for another snout, and that would totally negate all the offensive uh, That's, But the thing attack. here is that it's not really a problem. Because stop power is. I think it's still gonna take out the Fini, even without any boost, thanks hmm. to its pure base power. Is it, and EV is not intimidated, is it? Um, no, it is. Eh? Yeah, he hasn't switched. He, he, Akana hasn't switched out. Yep. EV came back in. So. So he, she, she is gonna get a psych up and. He's gonna start attacking with EV. I think. Well, quick attack should land a decent amount of damage on the Fini. <laughs> Unless she brought Crocodile as well. Nah, no, no it's didn't. not. It's uh, the Espeon, uh, the Clefairy at the yeah, back. Yeah, it's the Clefairy at the back. So it's gonna be quick attack from the EV. Or she could just switch out the Espeon and then go for the Baton Pass. Not worth it. You might as well just psych up. And get damage on the ED. Why, why would you Baton Pass? Why, 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 why give Kefari the boost at all? Okay. I think you let EV play it out. But in this situation, I think she would much rather have Double Edge on the EV. <laughs> and Sonic is looking set to crush both. Not uh, really. Without a boost? Against plus two defense on both sides? On both? It's, it is still an EV. So I guess maybe... I was expecting a lot more Wine da damage. Position herself fairly well this game. I'm surprised. Oh, she's going for it. The Clefairy and then the Baton pass it. And but the chest switch Fini in as well. No. So it's gonna she gave it, she gives herself Frank guard, okay. Mm. Though as you pointed out, the Snow probably is the better play. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna further reduce us uh, Yeah, it's gonna be Snow, okay, but actually I wonder. Is Snow really better? Instead of a, a move like Flare Blitz? Yeah, instead of just going for damage. I, I think Snow is the is the right option. At this point, you are definitely going to be ahead of your opponent. Uh, Wine is already one more down. Because it's not going to save you from Storm Power, I don't think. Yeah, the question is, now what does Wine go for? The she has to kill the Snow. Okay, before another Snow goes off. If another Snow goes off, then she, she's unable to kill the Fini, I think. Yeah, Chai could just recognize that and just protect. And, and then Snow could just go to town, get rid of the, the Clefairy, bring in EV, and then... It, it just slowly chip away at Wying's Pokemon. Yeah, it's a waste of opportunity to get the EV in. Mm. And we do see... Power into the Arcanine? Probably. That should be the KO. Oh, not quite. Oh. Not quite. Okay, Chai Wat with a very bulky Arcanine there. Imagine if you had a quick attack to back that up. Yeah. Hey. Or a Helping Hand perhaps, even from the Clefairy. No, Helping Hand... Clefairy doesn't get Helping Hand in this format. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Yeah, and now dropping to minus one, he's gonna need a crit on the thingy. Oh well, it does have heal pulse. Oh, but bounces the magic pulse back, so heals the Clefairy, I suppose. That's all we do yourself. Yeah. I I I I have done that before, both intentionally and unintentionally. Okay, <laughs> double H into Clefairy. Well, the heal pulse not gonna matter so much. I guess Snorlax takes more damage as recoil. So. Well, EV does come in, should be able to pick up the KO on the Arcanine. He with just ate uh, his berry. Attack. Oh, right. What am I saying? Oh. Please tell me, uh, does EV get a helping hand at least? No? Nope. Well, things are looking quite grim here for Wang then. I guess, I, I mean, another stop power will get rid of Arcanine, but she has a lot of she's Pokemon no longer, to go yeah, through. She's no longer in a position to KO the Tapu Fini when he comes in. And so now he's just, now he's just gonna pick out the banana and do it as a chance to go in on the Espeon. Mm, indeed. Yeah, I, I do. I think that was lost opportunity going for the psych up. I, think, I don't know what she was, she was afraid of that turn. Attacks going into the Espeon sword as she psyched up, but I think that was worth the risk. At least you have two booster mons on the field. Okay, Eevee going, hoping to draw his attention with its cuteness here. And another stop power comes out. Landing on the Arcanine, finally taking it down. Oh lord, he just will not die. Uh, sorry, take, I said taking it out. Why is Arcanine still on the field? Oh my lord. There's a crit as well. <laughs> Just to rub it in. Maybe the citrus berry for Wang's that's beyond there. Hmm. And double actually to the Oh you threw the Espeon. Not gonna KO, not through the defense boost. But at this point, yeah, Espeon is not long for the world. Might even go down okay, actually speed would KO because of the boost. Yeah, well. 
I, I mean, the idea is there. Espeon, I believe, gets access to Morning Sun. So he's able to restore HP as well. But at this point, it's not really going to... Okay, we do see quick attack. Not quite take... Oh, does take out the Arcanine. Okay, so score one for EV there. Uh, and store power. Let's see how much damage this does to the Slice. I don't expect it to do a lot. Yeah, that's that's really quite miserable. Not just score one for EV. It's the only one. <laughs> And double will pick off the Espeon, and that will be game. Ooh. Well, you know, just when you're saying that Wang has all the luck not to run into any haze users, there we go. One of the <laughs> one of the haze users in the in the tournament here. Probably the only haze user. Oh no, there's one more scuff in haze apparently. Curry. Oh. And Eevee is uh staring down two very scary Pokemon and decides to flee. So Chai takes this um Rather convincingly, I think, a 2-0 victory. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when Eevee fights Haze. But at the same time, she did position herself into a decent position. Just that, I think that was a missed opportunity. To not taking the side cup and leaving Eevee on the field with the boost. Mm. Which would, as you pointed out, if she had just quick that and sword power, as then Arcanine goes down that turn. Because mm. Arcanine was right with just the red health. Eevee at plus one. Eevee at plus two, two yeah, plus mind. two, yes. Arcanine is going down. And perhaps Quef a away victory yeah, it's, it's still difficult because the no, at the point no at the point the thing is right is that thanks to a boost she's not getting killed by Snorlax all right both Eevee and S1 will have boosts mm. and then she just double targets into everything well even with double target I don't think you take out the Snorlax in one hit especially since the, the parry yeah, oh, at the point the you're, going the, you're going for the Fini who is probably still going to I don't, I don't think Fini protects the station I think you still try for the haze at the way because you expect to live well, unfortunate though, Wang does uh, take a loss here, so we're going 4-2. Yeah, Chai I, I, undefeated. I, I still don't understand why you switch the Clefairy there. I'm, I mean, I recognize the play, but at the same time, if your EV has... Uh, sorry, if your Espeon has... Uh, but sorry, with Zika was, I don't think Whimsicott was the right idea either. Zazu would have done bad more. I think it's fine, because with the priority taunt, but you're right, la, there's, there isn't really anything straightforward that she needs to outspeed with the priority. Yeah, Celezo should have made an appearance and again the chance was there to psych up and beta and skip the boost on Eevee. Fortunately she didn't take it and Chai will move on because Thai players carry haze. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is why I don't play Jirawa, Jirawa anymore. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're moving on to the interview with uh, Chai, not Jira, Chai and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> I am back and I am joined by your undefeated first seed in tomorrow's top card, Chayawat Chaowicha. Congratulations, Chayawat. Hello. <laughs> All the way from Thailand, your very first event of the season and, well, going very well. 6 0 in Swiss, unbeaten so far. Thank you. And, well, it turned out to be a bit, of a, wash, a bit of a wash in the end since it is Haze versus Eevee. But I think in game, I think in game one you played very well because we saw that you you baited her to go for the evil boost by leading Akana and Kachong. Yeah. Then you immediately switched in fake out plus haste on the same turn, so there was nothing she could do to stop it. Yeah. So that was definitely very well played. But in game two you changed. Why did you why did you switch sort of it up? I think she I think no one in leading youth ah uh, if if we stay again, but she used but my Akana has an up is very healthy for if we team. Yeah, but then. I mean, we saw that your Fini ended up getting taunted. Yeah. But you, but you are confident that your Arcanine style will be enough to, to keep yourself in the game. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely, you had a game plan for in game one. You had a very clear game plan. Yeah. You just switch in, fake out, plus haste, stop the stop the evil boost, and in game two, you snout her to keep her damage down. Yeah. For the ah uh, for game, I think she she won follow me and extreme evil boost. That's why I double switch to fake out and haste for yeah, stop. Yeah. So immediately fake out haste yeah. to stop anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's was definitely very well played in game one. Thank you. <laughs> But then in game two, I think it got a bit dicey. So, so yeah, because you, you kept snarling, but if Akana had gone down, then then uh, S1 would, might still be able to stand a chance. Yeah. But you're able to take a snarl four times in the end. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was a wash as it turned out. But congrats, Chai. Uh, so tomorrow we'll be playing in top card as well. You're the first seed. Yeah. So 
Hoping to stay unbeaten all the way. Yeah, I, I hope I can win. <laughs> Alright, once again, uh, this, is, this is your first Chai Wak. Yeah. And uh, back, this is, I think, your best performance in the mid-season showdown as well, so yeah. far. Thank you. So, uh, good luck in tomorrow's top card, and we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So, once again, shoutouts to Toys uh, Games for our venue here today at Boogies Plus. A very spacious venue, our players have been enjoying themselves. Mm. I, I think Chai, the venue has been pretty good. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of food nearby. A, yeah. A very spacious venue. A good, good atmosphere to play in. Yeah. A, a lot of food is very, very delicious. I eat a lot in uh, Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> in this year. So you can't come here too often. It's not you get fat. So once again, shout out to Toy the Game, our venue here. Once yeah. again, uh, we are here at Boogies Plus, and we will see you tomorrow mm. at the same venue. Once again, here at Toy the Game for your top card. Again, uh, this is your first hit, Chaiwat. Perhaps you will see him again tomorrow. We'll go all the way. So we'll see you next time.